so I know I don't normally make videos super focused on speech <laughs> and that's mostly because I kind of find it hard to clearly spit out exactly what I'm trying to communicate in my videos which probably shows with my kind of weird demeanor I have sometimes in the intros and outros of my covers and stuff. This gets kind of annoying to edit considering I use only iMovie uh, which makes it incredibly too difficult for myself and I have no intention of changing this part of me. Uh, though I'm not the most eloquent person in the world, I uh, wanted to try something new today because I've grown a lot in the past few months alone um, and I figured maybe some of you would be interested in having a little chat about uh, the growing pains of going from like a child to legally a child but kind of almost an adult <laughs> and how this growth kind of affected my self-identity and such. Since a lot of the people who listen to my music and watch my videos are kind of in the same age group as me, I thought also that maybe this video would help you feel a little more okay about your own growing pains as well. So if I were a little more impulsive, I probably would have just turned on a camera and went on a tangent, <laughs> um, which kind of this is probably already going to be. But I tried to write kind of an outline um, in advance to kind of cover the points that and, and major thoughts that I wanted to share with you guys. So I've changed a lot in the past few months, um, and though I've remained 16 years old and will until September 29th, I feel a little more like an almost adult than I did in like May or something. I think the first thing that kind of instigated this change was the fact that I got to do a big long tour, or at least a big long tour for me, for the first time without like a family member by my side, which I haven't been used to because I'm still a music baby and I don't do touring super often, but I got to um, travel alongside Robin and Austin and all of the cave crew uh, for the Citrus Summer Tour, which was really important to me and really special to me. And I think it kind of helped me develop a lot as a person, feel more independent and less scared about going into the real world, I guess, as a musician. And before this tour, I was kind of nervous that I would feel like incompetent or that I would feel lame or that I wasn't good enough to be there. But the tour kind of did the opposite for me, which I was really grateful for. Um, everyone around me was super kind and super encouraging, and that really helped me embrace kind of who I am as a musician. And that was kind of the first step, I think, into this weird changing phase that I'm in right now. I also had started a new medication at the beginning of this tour, which I could make like a whole video about, but I won't delve into it too deeply. Um, but it was definitely another big good factor that kind of contributed to my weird puberty third grade awakening experience. <laughs> Once I started becoming more confident, I kind of started learning more things about myself. Um, I learned about what things I'm newly into and what things I'm not so into anymore. I felt absolutely insane about how fast I was changing and I was worried that a lot of people would think I'm weird for expressing myself in different ways that I haven't tried before. Um, and I was scared that I would always be too afraid of never sharing the new parts of myself that I've discovered and that I would end up putting on some weird facade mask for the rest of my life, which isn't really something I would like to do and I don't think anyone would. Now though, I'm not really afraid at all to share my thoughts and feelings in a genuine way with you because I know that the majority of people who watch my videos are really intelligent and kind and supportive and mature, which is amazing to see and amazing to know. I feel really, really extremely grateful and lucky to have you guys for sure. So with that, uh, I kind of finally feel safe to tell you that I don't really feel like the person I was in my old covers anymore, which honestly I think should have been expected, but definitely wasn't, at least for me. I don't really wear a lot of the stuff that I used to wear. I don't really listen to a lot of music I listened to like a year ago, which I guess I've come to accept. So when I was this tiny girl on YouTube with blushy cheeks and big bobbly glasses and a weird like kind of awkward shy demeanor in front of a camera which I kind of still have and I'm trying to grow out of um, I kind of felt like that was all I was which was frightening and felt kind of limiting to me I didn't really feel taken seriously as a musician I felt kind of immature I felt like I subconsciously kind of gave myself writer's block which was weird <laughs> uh, and I didn't really like myself very much which sucked it sucked a lot but 
Now my view on me has changed so much that I felt the urge to make this video, which I think is really cool and special. Some people noticed my changes in appearance and confidence and made positive comments about it on my recent videos, which made me so relieved and happy. You have absolutely no idea. You really encouraged me to learn to love these weird, constantly changing ephemeral states I'm always shifting through. It's really awesome to not be upset with myself for going through these sorts of changes. And I wasn't really sure how to fit this part naturally in the video, but it's kind of important for me to discuss. Though I'm not a super label-centric person in any context, I feel comfortable enough right now identifying myself as a lesbian, which is weird, because I never thought I would be the person to use that word to describe myself, ever. I always thought that was like too scary and permanent of a word. And Honestly, I don't know what I'm on about here. Uh, I think I started like rambling about how I'm scared to call myself a lesbian because what if boys yell at me or something? I, I don't know. The, uh, yeah. But now I realize that I can choose to label myself through all the changes in my life, and I don't think that's really a bad thing at all. Um, and girls are awesome! <laughs> girls are really awesome! Like, I... I guess it doesn't really matter anyways, since, like, the earth is dying, the Amazon is burning... Like, if a kid calls me a slur on the internet, I guess there are worse things to happen. <laughs> So I think that's kind of all I wanted to say. Uh, I'm really proud of myself for the progress that I've made, and even if a bunch of people don't like me as much as they did before I made this weird brain vomit video, uh, I think I'm okay. It was at this point that my phone died and everything got all messed up, but um, I hope you liked this video and I hope you like learning a little bit more about me. Um, I love you. Please know that you always have a safe place with me. Okay, cool. Bye.